we've got the uh, the expert, Mr. John here. We took the control cubicle out, and he seems to think that there may be an issue with that breaker, or is it the slug relay? Yeah, possibly the slug relay. That's that's in this unit somewhere. So he's going to take the front open and have a little look inside, and see if we can find any obvious faults. Slug relays is this one here, Absolutely. traverse and elevation. Nice, yes. helpful place to put them. That's the slug relay. Yes, yeah, traverse elevation. Cool. And that's the uh, bridge rectifiers that uh, give it its delay, which is why it's called a slug. On the top, you have the traverse relay, elevation relay, and GPR genome relay. Which are under there. These three. Which look awful. Which are awful. Um, nothing's broke off though, is it? Nothing. And that's a uh, so battery these, these are all relays, these yep. blue. So these three are for Travis Elevation Gen on the eye. These three are for Travis. And this is your main pole that's it. Well, do we take it to the workshop to give it a blow down with the airline? It's up to you. And get it on a bench? It would probably be better, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that then. Do you want to put it back in the case to take it over? Mm. What do you think? It's not it's overly heavy, easier is Easier to carry with the handles, that's it. Yeah. You can do. See? These slides. Oh, I see. Yeah, what yeah, it's that designed, just helps it come out. Well, no. What it's designed to do is to come forward and tip forward I while see. it's in the tank. Yeah. Where does that slide up there? There's a somewhere under uh, inside that yeah. one. And this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Hmm. Well, now we're looking at it like this. It's sort of no shock, like you said. You don't just start a car that's been stood 25 years and expect it to work. And this is exactly yeah. a good good yeah, example of that. Else's car. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, it's to say someone else's yeah. tank, so that's what we did with this. Right, so uh, it's back to the drawing board with this one there. Put it in the angle. Yeah. And then before I crush my fingers. Yeah. Okay then. Ah, there's something going on. It's probably nothing. I'm looking at this plug here. That's not in properly, is it? And you see all the pins? Yeah. Some of them have been pushed right back. Yeah. They're going out as well. Same with that one. Half them pins of uh, disappearing into the unknown. I don't think that's the entire problem, but that could be a fair There's bit of problem. Because isn't that the one that goes to the PSU? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that one? No, I, don't I think it's that one. Yeah. In fact, I'm sure it's that one. TVR9. TV9. I can tell you that. It's definitely that one. Yeah. Those pins are so low they wouldn't even be touching some of the contact. Yeah. Which one we may have found a problem. And that one's bad as well, but I don't know what that does. That goes down that side. Yeah, that goes down to uh, actually, uh, that will end up at the Travis gearbox mm. and the, uh, the trimming unit. Which is also quite important. Yeah. Well, that's what the your Travis clutch is. On that, and that, that that's exactly yeah. what's not working. Well, it's before that. Is it? Yeah. Right, let's try and lift it in. So we've just got one in there loosely, have we? Uh, one's in there tight, so it won't come out. Well, it'll be alright when it, we're only walking it down the yard. Okay, well, I think I'll carry it to there and then pass it down. Do you want any of these tools for you? No, we've got loads more in the shed. <clears throat> it's 
uh, corroded and pushed all the pins out through the back which I think is half half trouble if the camera wants to focus on it which it won't go back further and then just zoom in so it's all corroded and then pushed all the pins back so if you look in this socket here when the plug's in they're not actually making any good contact Otherwise, it's not that awful. Right, so we've come to the conclusion that that plug is knackered because the pins, because it's all swollen, aren't getting the connection. And that goes to the PSU power supply unit. So I've got another power supply unit that caught tire. And it has the same plug on that's in immaculate condition. So I'm going to unwire all the connectors on here, pull that plug out, put that plug in here, and then trace which pin goes to where on here. And hopefully the wires on that will be long enough to go back on here. And then it'll be like brand new and it'll work absolutely flawlessly, won't it? John's got his wiring diagram for what could possibly go wrong. Lots of electrics. Right, well, John has removed the offending article, which was this plug that goes to the power supply unit that sits here and it's in the tank. This was the other part of the plug. I'm sure you can see corrosion got the better of it. So we've now replaced that for that one, which is a good, good connector that we actually salvaged off that other PSU. But obviously the wires we're all numbered different. They've all got different little numbers on them. 304, 305, blah, 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 blah. Um, and obviously that was designed for a totally different box. So the wires are the totally the wrong length, but running it agriculturally straight across the board, they do in fact reach. So we've not actually had to cut and solder and make any, any of our own new joints. So it's a little bit messy. Um, but it's okay. The only reason we have a couple of extra wires is because it quite simply, the plug that, we, um, that we've used just had more wires going to it because obviously it was doing different things. Um, so actually, it's quite fortunate to have too many, in this case, and too, too little. So I'm pretty confident now that that plug will be okay. You can see it's sticking out. The pins are showing the full amount, whereas, whereas this one, some of the pins, you can see it fell right back in See what I mean? So they're not getting the full connection within the plug. Now, the other plug that I don't like the look of is this one here that goes to the, the traverse and stabiliser unit where you basically trim the controls, the trim box, as they call it. Um, so when you click the turret in to spin, left and right, if it's not trimmed and you click the safety, it will start just creeping one way or the other way or up or down. So the trim box, you just gently adjust it until the gun stops. So it should stop moving up if it's moving up or moving left or right. So this is one is also very important. And again, same thing again, half the pins are barely showing, which would mean that they're not making a full good connection in the, uh, in the, in the plug. Um, and obviously our, our issue that we were having was most of it was working, but the PSU, the power supply unit kept tripping out. This socket that we've replaced literally feeds the PSU. People tell me that you don't need the PSU to work the gun kit on battery mode in emergency, but it won't work with the PSU disconnected because it still relies on a circuit to and fro. So the fact that they weren't making a connection would have meant that it wouldn't have worked in theory. So I do feel that changing that it took John a long time. He literally wrote stuff down, followed the, followed the diagram, and because all the numbers were different on this new donor plug, he's had to go through it one wire at a time. But obviously, 
I need to do the same again, and it's the exact same style um, connector again for this trim unit. So he's gone home now, so I'm going to have the evening. It's about 8 o'clock now. I'm going to have the rest of this evening taking that out and swapping it for another one. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this may work once more. Right. Okay, so I've been to my stores and I've actually got a damaged one of these boxes, but the only connector that is salvageable, funnily enough, is the one that we need. So I've took this one out of here, which you can see all the pins have been pushed back, the corrosion's gone in and it's knackered up down the side there. Um, and I've gone and got the one out of my spares. But the only problem with this, someone's obviously stripped the wire back on that and used it as a test point. But the only problem is, is on the replacement with a good connector that hasn't corroded, is this branch here has one wire missing. Okay, which is wire 404. For some reason, this one doesn't have it. So what I'm gonna try and do is pull the pin out on this connector and then pull the wire and the pin out on this and put it into the new one because so I have no idea what that does I'm not even going to pretend I do but basically this connector goes off to the trim the trim box so it is quite important um, and if we do get the gun to work stabilizing it and trimming it to make it safe is, is quite important so uh, I'm going to try and pull that wire out. If not, I'm just going to have to chop it there and re-solder it in there. But it's going to be a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass to solder in there without touching absolutely everything. So I'll swap that now. Let's see how we go. Right. So this relay that was tested last week is the Traverse relay that should be energising. Um, when you press, when you press the trigger, it should energise that, which changes the polarities on all of these other bits and pieces that makes things happen. Now this is actually out of a, a spare unit we had, which is in pretty horrendous condition, but that does in fact work. But this relay here is basically which one did we say this was? Generator Gen relay. Generator relay. Now, that does sound like it's working, but not fully. So if you have a listen. It's trying, isn't it? It's trying, but it's... That doesn't sound any good to me. And then this one here, which is the traverse relay. Literally nothing. And the last time I flashed this one, it literally sparked at me, so. <laughs> so I think that one is probably faulty. Stuck, shall we say. That's direct ground. No idea what's going on with this one. What a bugger. So I took the cover off this relay. And it's very rusty inside. And it's also not springing back. Now I've had a more detailed look at this, I can see inside, I'll just try and zoom in, there's an insulated spring in that plastic sheath and it's actually become disconnected at the bottom there. It, uh, it doesn't bring, it no longer returns. It should be springing it back like that, but I'm using my thumb to push it back because it's literally snapped off there. You can see it in more detail on this spare one here. You can see the, the spring. You can see it doesn't need any help pushing back. And the reason it's sparking is because that spring's actually snapped and leaving a bit off and it's touching on some of the contacts making it earth out which is probably what would kept blowing that breaker so 
now I really need to try and undo some of these and try and swap this relay over if I can. So I've just took the cover off this other one. And again, hard to bloody see, but again, the springs broke. So you've got the generator relay, traverse relay, and the elevation relay. All are broken, which is uh, no shock that nothing was working. And I dare say that the battery relays, which are these ones, so these are one it works on emergency mode, are probably also broken. We can't actually mend it right now because these relays are absolutely buggered inside as I showed you earlier, and we do actually need all of them. So that'll be why it wasn't doing anything because these three here work when the methadone is working. These lower three work on battery mode. Um, well, obviously when you're not on the methadone, neither function work. And uh, that's why, because those relays have all failed. You know, we did find one, Seb found one on, on the internet. £7,000 for one. So we're not going to go with that. What I'm going to try and do tonight is figure out what um, pin and throw they are and try and get a modern equivalent that's probably about the size of a pin and, uh, and replace, replace it with that. Because I think other than those dicky relays, the actual rest of it will be okay. Now we've changed both, both sockets. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that will be a good unit. 